cheated. When you need help, she's on your side. Better call Bacon. Consignment customers still on the hook, even though their RVs sold. We now know there are four complaints about Largo's consignment RV with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. And a check that the owner promised that he would send a month ago to one customer still hasn't shown up. And that's when the customer knew they'd better call Bacon. Shannon, join me now with the update. Keith, this I is, really... We were talking about this ahead of time. Yeah. It's a tangled little web you have going here when you put all these pieces together. And I really, really did want to believe this business owner. I went to him. It was, um, now he's not even returning my calls, but when I went to his business today, I was told he was out picking up another RV to sell. Or is he still taking RVs in? Has he paid anybody since you've been back from Missouri? Consignment RV is yeah, still yeah. in business. An employee told me things are business as usual. For Lenora Lundy, a widow who is waiting for the $18,000 the company owes her, that is a big slap in the face. I called her to give her the news. I can't believe that they still have their doors open. Lundy and her late husband sold their RV through the company in July. But she hasn't seen a dime, and she's still on the hook for the monthly payments to her lender. It's, it's sad. Uh, holidays are coming up, and, you know, without my husband, it's the first time. No holidays, and, you know, have a finance that I should not have. I came here four weeks ago looking for answers for Lundy, and owner Jeremy Rainey sent me a copy of this check, explaining he fell on hard times, but the check to Lundy's bank was in the mail. That check never made it. To me, it's just like stealing. Mike Lazat is another disgruntled customer. He ended up taking off with his RV after the company wouldn't fork over the $135,000 he was owed. That means the customer who paid for this RV has nothing. Are you frustrated to know that this business is still in business and they're still taking in RVs? Yes. Yes, they should have their doors closed. I just don't, I don't understand it. By the time we finished asking questions, the business gate was closed, at least for a while. Other customers have given the company negative reviews about similar issues online. Owner Jeremy Rainey did not return my calls today. And what about the law enforcement investigation here? Because you would think that there would be a window. You go, okay, you're late, you're late, you're late. All right, now you're fraud. You're you're stealing. Like I said, it's they're, almost like theft. Yeah, they're entering that window. There is an active law enforcement investigation on this. I called them today, and they said that these things just take time, but they do want to hear from anybody who's in a similar situation because these things are starting to pile up, and you yeah. can't just go on forever and not pay somebody. All right. Thank you, mm -hmm. Shannon. And if you have a problem you need solving, better call Binkin, the telephone number 1-855-BINKIN.